guys, it's Nikki with The Messy Homesteader. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's in my emergency preparedness ladies hygiene bag. I'm sure I have a couple of things that may surprise you. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. Now, first off, this is my old bug out bag that I keep in my car. Now, everyone should have some kind of preparedness bag in their car. I don't care where you live in this country. You can have beautiful weather all year round, like here in California, but freeways get shut down, earthquakes, wild, whatever. Keep something in your bag. So uh, I am upgrading my diaper bag, bug out bag to something bigger. Now, the reason why I'm upgrading my bag is because, as you can see, it's coming apart right here. But I love this bag. But it doesn't hold my hygiene bag very well. So I'm just going to show you the feminine stuff. And then another video, I'll show you everything that's in my bug out bag. So let me just take this stuff out. I want to make this video short and quick. All right. So this is my lovely purple feminine hygiene bag. Okay. Let me get comfortable here. All right. Now listen. Look. All right. Now, I'm a daughter of a United States Marine who did 20 plus years in the service and two tours in Vietnam. I know what preparedness is, okay? I also know about morale. So while I'm not a professional P-R-E-P-P-E-R, -E -E okay? I'm just a mom, uh, a wife, a sister, a daughter. So I'm not trying to have, I'm not trying to look like Rambo. I'm just trying to take care of my kids and myself with a little bit of style. So. I got a nice pretty purple bag because purple makes me look makes me feel happy and I look good in it sometimes. Okay, the vanity part aside. All right, let me see where to start. All right. Now, this bag. Now, some of the things that I'm going to show you, I have a link in the description box below for those of you who want to know where I got this, okay? Most of these things I got from Amazon. This is a large toiletry bag. It's a hanging bag, okay? It hangs why i like this is because i love categories i divide everything up by categories and for this bag i have categories now here is the main compartment okay that's the main compartment it holds a lot it's a large capacity toiletry bag on the sides i have my little my little pick me up my little morale booster side okay i got a little Something to keep my hair pulled back in, you know, put it around, whatever you got to do. Now, in here, this is an old Zinni eyeglass case. Recycle because I have so many eyeglass cases. Now, inside, I just have another a hair scrunchie, some little hair ties, and just a couple of lip lipsticks. I'm not putting on a full Beyonce face of makeup, but you know what? Sometimes having some glossy lips or... A shot of <laughs> hussy <laughs> tramp red lipstick can do wonders for your morale or at least your husband's morale if he's doing all the work all right and then I have a cinnamon uh, this is from elf this is really cheap I get this from Target um, one end is uh, cinnamon oil this really uh, it it pumps up your lip but you know I don't need pumping up but it tingles and it just kind of wakes me up and I like that feeling. So I put that on. Plus I can smell it. It's almost like an undercover aromatherapy situation. And there you go. So this is my, my Diane Carroll dynasty side. Okay. And then, you know, you have, okay, now listen, if, if things are going crazy, I ain't trying to brush my hair, comb my hair, but I got to comb just in case, just in case I'm not doing nothing to my hair. It's going to be back with the squinchy. A scrunchie and and this over my head like Rambo now now perfume get you a cheap little small vial of perfume I like this one I get it off Amazon I get so many compliments on it it's um it's like an Arabian oil it lasts forever a little goes a long way it's a roller you just put a little on just a little pick oh god it smells good just little pick-me-ups right 
just a little pick-me-up so this is my morale boosting side okay so then you have a little nail file you know your nail gets snagged um you're trying to plant some seeds and you need to uh <laughs> scarify them so but this is really anything you want to put that makes you feel good put it in there i like the perfume because that will instantly just lift your mood and your spirits and then once you get through this ordeal your kids your husband whomever will whenever they smell that perfume they'll remember that time you know just amazing how kids have memories people have memories um associated with smell now on this side is my metal my medical side okay now look look at this okay now okay ladies now if you get yeast infections, if you've ever had a yeast infection or any other kind of vaginal situations going on down there. Now, I don't use mon Monistat or Vagisil. I've never really used them. I think maybe once my first year out of college. I don't know. I don't use that. I've, I've always used natural remedies uh, if I ever had to, to use it, which is very rare. But I know when you are stressed out, you can affect the flora in... Uh, your body so let me put this one so y'all can see better all right so this is what i got i'm starting with the big guns so if you want to get monostat vagisil rock on just have it now if you want to go a different route uh i use one or two things okay oil of oregano now this my master herbalist recommended years ago um oil of oregano and you will put that on let me just show you. Now, this is not medical advice. Do what you feel is best for you. I'm just saying if you want an alternative, there you go. So you'll take a tampon, which will be in your emergency hygiene kit. You'll take all of oregano with a carrier oil. Please do not put oil of oregano in your cookie jar. You will burn your cookies. You will take, oh, where's my little bottle of oil? Okay, well, pretend you have, um, I have a little Target travel case. Anyway, you will ha have a little vial, something like this. You know, Target has the little, the travel packs. Have one of those and fill it with coconut oil. Mix about three to five drops of this and then fill whatever vial you have to keep everything together. Fill it up with the coconut oil. Add your three or four, three to five drops. And then put that on the tampon and then put it inserted okay so that is one way to combat um any kind of vaginal situation you have going on okay that's one way also supplement you need supplements now i'm a little iffy about keeping my supplements in this just because it's not maybe i should just put a cotton ball inside yeah that's probably what i'll do but this is the size of of a lipstick it's the size of a lipstick okay now in here i have vitamin c which is good for vaginal y'all can't see me which is good for vaginal situations okay and i have garlic okay these are supplements that you can take to help if you're having some kind of vaginal infection okay so i have three remedies i have vitamin c i'll do a high dose of vitamin c i also have garlic supplements and then the oil of oregano okay so and this is just you know some of them you can see they just pop right on out okay so that's what i have that's part of the medicinal side okay now what else have i got here tweezers i have two kinds of tweezers i like tweezer men now tweezer men are, tweezer men are a little more expensive than your regular tweezers but let me tell you when you really need tweezers you don't want the little cheapy kind that won't grip what you're trying to pull out so i get the pointed ones right here and then i get the slope one okay so good for splinters anything that's small and tiny and then this um this is kind of like the multi-purpose one for me okay so i have the tweezers nail clippers listen don't get those little small the you know the really small ones from the the 99 cent store get you this is who who is this by trim me this is from target this is like the foot version it's really big okay with the nail file 
get this one okay this will cut all kinds of things not just your fingernails but definitely go for the bigger one over the smaller one okay the smaller one is a bit limited now let's see look you're going to be smelling all kinds of things going on right so now i have these aromatherapy inhalers i love these you feel any sniffles coming on you just put it right below your nose but I'm a G. I put mine right inside my nose. I'm fine. You might not want to do that. But I have a mixture of mint. And then I have a cinnamon one. It says blaze. It don't blaze at all. But it does um, kind of wake you up. It smells good. So if you got situations going on and the toiletry is not on point for you or your, your family members or wherever you are, you know, just keep this around. Wake you up okay coat what's going on what's floating around okay so i have these for uh if you got any kind of sniffles if you're feeling just like the air quality is pretty bad or if you're trying to coat what's going on you don't want to smell it you have these oops, uh inhalers i prefer the neil med i think i bought four different brands you all see that four different brands they weren't nearly as strong. Like this one, uh, I wouldn't buy them again. But the Nail Med Sign You Inhaler, that's the business. That is the business, okay? So that's for, that's my medicine side of the game, okay? And then uh, Pow Pow Ointment. It's, it's a good alternative to um, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. So um, this you can use on cuts, scrapes. If you want to coat your nose. For whatever reason, that's something you can use. Let's see. I think I've done every... Oh. Did I open this one, y'all? Okay. And then these are my glasses. So I have an extra pair of glasses. And tea tree oil. Okay. Antiseptic. I put it on everything. And that's just something good to have. So that's the medicine side of everything right there. Okay. And if you guys have anything that you would add to your medicine side of your hygiene kit not necessarily hygiene but it fits in my hygiene bag just fine so there you go all right uh now oh and for just you know the morale part i forgot because i have this on the other side this is a cheap mirror i got off of amazon sometimes just little things just pick you up it's a handheld mirror okay now don't be fooled it's heavy too don't be fooled by the girliness because this can help you start a fire okay you have the zoom in and then you have the regular uh i'm showing all my business over there <laughs> so you got options there okay so don't sleep on that it's really pretty it's actually heavy so if you had to pop somebody in the eyeball you could do that so just and then there's a the cleaning cloth, which you can use for your glasses or whatever. And y'all, I'm not bang, but I know the power of when I, if I spend just three to five minutes on myself, if I pamper myself for three or five minutes, that helps me go and take care of everybody else. Because you, mom, are going to be taking care of everybody. You're going to get run down, burnt down, run down, everything. So do a little something for yourself. Um, earrings target you know target be having those ladies three pairs for look 6.99 it might be cheaper in other cities okay i took two off because i'm i think i'm wearing one right now um put on just a little pair it's the little things put your little earrings on put on some lip gloss while you got your mirror okay and then put that tourniquet on your child's elbow <laughs> i'm kidding just because things are all kinds of fubu you have to build in space for morale okay and all military personnel they know that about you know building the morale with the troops so i'll just set this over here so there you go now let's go into the inside now speaking of morale i love werther's originals i've been snacking off this because well actually i snacked off of this i just put the re remainder in here but i do have a big bag i'm gonna refill 
some little candies i love werther's everybody in my family loves werther's so i put werther's everywhere on every door in the car everybody's bag has some i have the little boxes that it comes with the little minis so it's just nice to have something for morale okay i have my contact stuff q-tips or anything my eyeglass case i mean my contact lens case yes not hygiene nikki but it's in my hygiene bag now back to hygiene okay guys back to hygiene now i don't use pads or tampons the reason why i showed you uh that other tampon was to act as basically like a vaginal suppository but i use um re um uh, i was about to say rechargeable i use uh reusable uh sanitary um items now this one's brand new okay now these are activated charcoal reusable sanitary napkins okay come to the pouch different sizes i have the medium sizes they're so comfortable you guys so comfortable now ask your grandmother because back in the day this is what women use they use reusable tampons i mean pads just like the babies use reusable um diapers right and so you just snap that it's just one snap over your panty and here's the nice oh this fabric right here is so warm it's so comfortable and then you have lots of different designs okay looks like a pot holder but hmm that pot the holder is going to be holding all the stuff coming out your pot so if you can get you some reu reusable uh sanitary napkins it cuts down on here and i got this so i can show y'all these big old tampon uh bags they're really big they take up a lot of space this takes up hardly anything and i haven't even folded them yet so this is something i would recommend you get and start using it try it out work practice your prep so there are no surprises now this is my my sanitary bag and this is just um target if you buy pillow sets from target they come in this bag and i just uh reuse the bag so i just uh you this is my cup my diva cup so i don't have to use pads or tampons so there are lots of things you can use where you don't have to <coughs> excuse me use a lot of disposables or if you use um period panties you can you know use that and then you know when it's time you can use a little bit of water to wash um the items out okay so that's what's in the sanitary bag okay so the menstrual cup um you can get the diva cup you can get oh, what's the other name oh, i'll put it down below but basically it's a menstrual cup you can use uh fabric reusable pads okay so you have some options there or if you just want to rock with um disposables that's fine whatever's going to make you feel comfortable also a shovel now nikki what's that shovel for no it's not for a pap smear <laughs> although i know it probably looks like <laughs> when the gynecologist is about to go take your pap smear this is a foldable shovel once you do your do well before you do your, your do you need lock it you need to dig dig the hole and do what you need to do and then cover up the hole so this is by sog i did a lot of research on these uh foldable shovels and this one comes i mean so many so many great reviews on this it's serrated on the side okay um but well on one side serrated on one side so if you gotta use it as a saw you can't but it folds up really easily and okay here we go oh no there you go folds up like so or rather this way oh no get it together girl all right back goes back i haven't used it because i haven't had to dig a hole for uh fecal matter and then it comes with a carry case okay it's got a belt loop in case you're bad like that you just want to <laughs> wear the shovel around your waist okay if you have given birth 
naturally, if, you, if you've had a vaginal birth, you probably know what this is, right? This is a peri bottle. You know, once you push out your baby, you know, you have to take care of the perineum area, but it's also for your vaginal area, okay? So once you do your business, you know, you, you fill this up with water, do your stuff, and then you spray, okay? Spray all the way around to cleanse yourself, okay? I'm sure you could probably figure out a hundred and a hundred and one ways to use this for other stuff but for the ladies this will be a game changer for you okay and um it's you know you can smash it up okay so it doesn't take up that much space but it's a peri bottle and i think this is great it's, it's awesome this is what it looks like this is by sin pill okay it's a peri bottle take care of your feminine needs and then i have all the usual suspects in here okay you know toothbrush floss now this is dr bonner's this is castile soap by dr bonner's for those of you who know oh i love dr bonner's this can be diluted it can last a long time and dr bonner's cleans your a s s it will clean it okay so i use this and this is what I'm going to use when I need to use it. So that's the soap. And then I just have the little sundries, the little travel kits, uh, shampoos, conditioners. Child, I'm not going to be washing my hair and definitely not conditioning it. So actually, I don't need that conditioner. I'll take that out. One thing that I think you guys will really like. Now, sometimes I get dry eyes if I wear my contacts for too long. These are single-use applications just pop that off eye drops i thought that i was so cool oh you know what guys let me show you something okay this is this is the brand for the eye drops if you're interested in getting it this is the brand for the eye drops okay single use and throw it away no harm no foul moving on really quickly uh deodorant i use a salt stick i've had this for about three or four years you can tell and it says last one year they meant to add a zero behind the one this lasts forever so this is something great to have uh toothpaste travel size what else lotion i have the pow pow but i just lotion from the hotels actually i have i keep a lot of lotion in the car so i don't really keep a lot in here and i think that is it for what i have in my hygiene bag yeah i did all that so did i forget anything okay guys so that was everything in my emergency preparedness lady hygiene bag okay so i hope this helps you out and i'm just wondering if there are a couple of things that you didn't even think to add or if there are some things that you think i should add or would benefit from please list that down in, in the comments section below i will have another video showing you my bug out bag my updated bug out bag i will no longer have the diaper bag and the funny thing is all my kids have the have really nice bug out bags but me and remember we're the main ones that are going to be taking care of everybody and i'm you know shortchanging myself which is why i got my pamper stuff but i hope you find some value in that um one thing i have a big old i'm gonna get you sucker a uh, contact lens solution i need a smaller vial i was just going to go to target and get a a, a container like this and then just pour this in it um I just want to make sure it's going to be sterile because it's going in my eyes. So if you guys know of a place where I can get a smaller travel size, I like this version by Clear Conscience. Um, let a girl know. I think that's it. Thank you for stopping by. Please put a like on this video if you found some value in this. It helps the channel to grow. I will see you on the next video, the next share. In the meantime, just start where you are with what you have. And if you already started keep moving because there's always something to be done always so i love you guys this is nikki with the messy homesteader i'll see you on the next video bye bye